would say. Now, is that predictive programming or is that reality? And see, even though nobody can surely say, well, most of us by now realize too that there is a divine intervention. There is the ability to create our own reality. And um, we're going to we're going to deal with some reality tonight. So I need to start by saying that these subjects that we need to be able to discuss. So I'm going to put that right up there. And you see what it says. Unfortunately, well, it's not really good lighting for that. It says sex industry. It says human trafficking. It says pedophile. And it says mental illness. On the other side of the card, it says indentured servant and straw man. So, tonight's subject, you know, I really wanted to call it C.W. Chanter, you're a big kid now, but I chose not to do that. Um, what happened today was C.W. had to come to terms with mocking Trump, mocking the wall, mocking not knowing what was really going on. And this is a big deal to him because he likens himself to be a great journalist like Alex Jones or somebody and you know that's why I say everybody that he listens to I always have to say I don't listen to that person I'm I'm not into any of these people he listens to and so you know you have to realize that part of the way we've gotten here is the blind leading the stupid and in the meantime people are all yeah you know mentally abused to say the least from having to learn all these hard truths that they didn't know the truth so he really had a hard way to go and hey Dan Shaw how you doing my friend um we really do need to have a lot of compassion for people as all this information comes forward and it's gonna come really hard and fast so I'm doing my best to reach out and actually make a video where he knows that I'm really it's not that I'm out to get him and I'm really glad that he's coming around and they say part of what I'm going to do is help people with mental illness and um, that's a tough one because a lot of people wanted to call me crazy because my experience was unique and they couldn't figure out why I'd be so committed to helping other people and knowing myself as well as I do. So it, it kind of got all twisted up. Now, what's more important than this one man who started a religion called Commonwealth Chanting What's even more important than that is the events that all went down in the year 2016. And of course, I was there and I was 
very involved, even though nobody knew me. And when that gets into my dear friend Randy Moggins and being behind the scenes with a conscious consumer. Who, come to find and, out, really isn't my friend. So everybody can laugh there. about that, too. Whether they knew it or, or not. Or Thomas Williams, truth, honor, and integrity, my ass. That branched out all the way to Corey Good, David Wilcock. Um, oh, and Thomas Williams. Space program. The place where I first saw the yeah, Elvis the post. Political agenda. Tag that. He grabbed my boob and, um, you know, every other damn thing. So, as it all comes crashing down on these people, then you keep in mind. Yeah, they say Moggins is going to jail. This whole dopey internet. And Tommy's busted. You know, fuck, I mean. What the hell? Facebook is like a video game. Involve me in your right. fucking stupid Black Panther party. What the? YouTube started out to be mm. a dating website. Right. What an egomaniacal way <laughs> to get somebody's personal information and you get 20 bucks. But or somebody is there. Naked now, picture. Now, skinny on what's really mm. going on. This is, this is a really incredible thing. Okay, so Randy Moggins knows that I trusted him. That everybody needed to come together for the kids on a story, a real story mm -hmm. that everybody could relate to. And of course, I knew what was going on in the background. I'm like, hey. They know this story that I'm dealing in is real, so, you know, I always knew it had to do with me, but I never realized until 48 hours ago, and this is beautiful, that what the collective came together on was first off, love above everything else, first do no harm. True. And so, the continuance of that statement is that everybody had to find out about those words I said earlier, sex industry, human trafficking, pedophiles, and mental illness. And it was Randy Moggins that gave the pedophile Unfortunately, dossier slash so imagine child abuse thing or that guys, Zen right? gardener who's nowhere to be and found them, and um, nobody's looking for him <laughs> and maybe he was never real Randy as intelligent as the functions that they've used their computer for so you can imagine if somebody's doing a bunch of angry video gaming or watching porn that that computer would be kind of ignorant and that's where you get the word space herpes. I don't know if anybody's seeing that word out there, but it's space herpes. <laughs> well, you know, the other problem is with this, going back to that industry, even though, so let me start with the first screenshot. Now, this is the show he gets in a lot of trouble because what it's talking about, they're supposed to be talking about the migrant crisis at the border, which Sir Chantelot didn't believe. He didn't realize that people were already right at the wall. He thought they were like three days away or something. And it's like, dude, I mean, people are sharing intelligent, legitimate factual evidence that it is too happening. Well, or See, made up stuff to set somebody up. What he said is he was smarter. Which one? Than any of the mainstream news media and any of the alternative media, and that he called it right from the start, and this border thing was a crock of shit. Well, then he had to feel even guiltier because, see, they see everything I put out because they're spying on me and it's all part of the barrier is deep and, and you know now they're backtracking and, and it, it, it's it's 
it's already happened. It's it's moved too fast. But nobody could believe it. But um This isn't even a year later. He everything he has believed in come to find out now he feels abused because he was manipulated and lied to. See, he didn't have a choice. No, no, no free will for this dude. They twisted his arm, right? And he'll proceed to tell you the long list of mainstream and alternative people that he personally got the information from. Like Rachel Maddow. And I'm going to tell you, every one Having of them a stroke SMPs over her. Was nobody I ever listened to. Nope. And when I came online, they told me to stay on my mission. Don't be following her fools around. Use my heart brain, do my job, log in to witness. Oh, and Randy said, and focus. So, focus. That's what I get to do. Well, he broke down and so anyhow, freaked out. In this first screenshot you see when he was cocky telling everybody that he called it right and they're all a bunch of douchebags. Well, you see we have a $5 um, donation from Darnell Yeats. And he says, CW, your comments are always valuable to us here at the White House Council. Wow. White House Council. Help us each day with our difficult duties. Now, you can dig around and say you're joking all day, but when you have people of that mentality, see, they're the same ones that create the collective that say, we cannot trust anyone he says Do it all not the time. Trust anyone. I mean, over and over tonight when he was right. crying. Right. Pathetic. You know, like a little girl. But they're unable to know. They have no feeling. So they can't tell who's truthful and who is lying, whether they know they're lying or because they're nuts. And this fool said. Or because the they're dirty. So come to find out my my pet project now he's not the kingpin of this nightmare no but he was like tubby's to not on top out front and so back to the soap opera that is youtube no doubt uh the boyt well see these people are all linked up together into this big network right and they're dropping dime on each other like nobody's business. And I'll show you a couple things and tell you a few more things, but but let me roll on to this next one now. This is why it's important. If you intentionally are in cahoots with CCN and a group that is targeting me because they're all working off a factual script that is my Akashic record. And they didn't know it. I'm not saying they knew. Nobody was supposed to be knowing it's me, it's me, it's me. They were keeping me as safe as they could. By burying me. For as long as they could. But anyhow. Until they assimilated my identity. Now. And stole all my. In the previous show to this one. Ugh. They're saying that Sue's Pratt is his booty call. Okay, now first you call me crazy. And now you're calling me a piece of ass. You tease me because I'm an old lady and my teeth aren't perfect. And now I'm your fucking whore. I'll tell you what, dude. Oh, I'm supposed to be being nice. Okay, now I look, am being I got nice. a little tippy there. But you gotta remember, I'm the girl that loves too many people. I'm the girl that they're measuring the ability of my heart to love. I have no secrets. Nice medical experiment. To be monitored. And I'm in exile here in the big yellow house. Tommy Williams. I mean, don't get me wrong. Put me in a castle in my head. Oh, I get it and now, truth, honor, and integrity. 
and the Kim Fund. Bullshit. Y'all started this Everyone over a decade ago. You, you know? Uh, whatever you want to think. But, like, okay, so in this I'm being one, nice. This Robert Elder says, Sock Sues. Sock Sues? And then we have Crystal ASMR hmm. who says, Sues loves CW. Mrs. Channer, watch out. Tag it, okay, Crystal ASMR. So if we have this man who's already on You're from the stupid side with, with silly. His wife because he's lied to her countless times about whether he's boozing or not because he'll say he quit but he really didn't and he takes some pills and you know he plays some angry games and plays with himself there's a lot of things that's going on and he constantly belittles her to the group she's not involved and on this particular evening she comes into the chat and so this poor woman gets Sue's Pratt thrown in her face and she has to think I want this asshole now you're definitely slandering my character at this point and I highly object I do not consent and I enter it into the record as factual evidence because this is a crock of shit and mentally insane people like Sir Chan a lot. Oh, you know why they didn't want to believe about the child trafficking and the pedophiles? Because some of them dirty SOBs are actually that very thing. Come to find out it's not against the law for a level three sex offender to be online. I don't know how many levels there is, but found that out the other night too and then what they do and we've heard about this before in the real world you all know about this all right you know how people steal dead people's identities they steal their identity thus stealing their script and their social security number who would have fucking known but anyhow I just wanted to make it public. Probates. That, um... Maybe stocks and bonds. You never know. Never, ever, ever, ever have I ever been so hard up to want to go after somebody like Channer. Okay. So... Am I far enough down the pipe? You know, I get so involved, right? And this is a big show. Yeah, we'll have several episodes of so, this one. Let's go back up the road here. Because it was never about the views. And it was never about the popularity. The video, it like was documenting the like journey this. like I was instructed to do on now. September 1st, 2014. I'm going to go over my Facebook feed, too, as I do this show. Because... Not a popularity contest, again, fools. I knew that everything that I say do feel right and share oh is yeah public. right I knew and I also know about shadow banning and how it can be used for either noble or malevolent purpose but like it see, has on both Sir sides Sir Chanelot and his buddies they're all pro Hillary and Obama and yeah, Randy. On a Hillary server. How deep I am in this stuff. That's anymore. weird. And the whole idea that. That's what Terry Joyce says. Go on. Everybody's getting docs. Let's go. Republican, liberal, conservative. All the bad kids to the front of the room. They change the definitions all the time. And the English language is just like the Tower of Babel. It's a bunch of fucking babble. Mm hmm. So, pretty dangerous. But, um, you know, it's nice to see the Clinton Foundation is collapsing. Donations plummet 90%. You ain't kidding. Little did Sir Chanelot know. And everybody and knows that had to do with Clintons and Haiti. And Red Cross. Really and saving the poor ignorant uh, and natives. The United States and, <laughs> Ooh. Uh, you know, he was in college. Then you get into the trafficking. Getting drunk and learning to be a, law a lawyer. You know where it goes from yeah, there. I mentioned this guy's a lawyer, too. 
It's bad buzz, man. Bad deal. But even I knew, and I was a baby coming into it, that the Clinton thing is connected to the Haiti thing and the Red Cross thing and the Oops. trafficking and the I think I already just said that. I can't even help organs myself. Organs and the... Ugh. Dang and they know it. it. And people go, well, hey, wait, what about Trump? Because he's doing this and that. Right, master of chaos. Right. An actor. It's a plug-in algorithm program. How many times do we got to bang up against the damn wall to not realize these things? And since I sit in the center watching all of it, it's so beautiful to know that good, strong, noble people, including musicians and actors and artists and all the people they want to rag out. Yep. Well, they came together for one subject and it's knocking it off. And defending me, they son of a gun. They out every one of them. Oh, yeah. I I'm like watching, to rock. Listening to the story because I know exactly what the fuck they're all talking about. And I don't scream like a yeah, weird great. teenager if I'm listening <laughs> to their music. They like it. All right. They like it that I like so their story. Off, we already mentioned he's getting paid. Oh. Okay. So the first video we watch. Now, you know I'm an honest kind of girl. Well, that video was first, the first segment was about, you know, the migrant thing and, you know, da 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 and he's tripping out and saying he's better and he knows more and all this shit. Well, then it flipped over into a sexual conversation and he actually says what he'll do for a thousand dollars and we you have know, that evidence. We'll be bringing it later on. And, all this. and see, what a lot of people don't get either is that a lot of these people that are mentally ill, that are in pain, that are medicated, that either do or don't consume alcohol and want to bitch about marijuana. Mm -hmm. You know, you know those people. Rednecks. In the box, in the system. Nerds. Well. Narcs. Dorks. They're very, very, very unhappy. Punks boxed in the system to know that their meds are monitored right that they're being monitored yep and right raksha basically they they know who they are oh yeah and there's no secrets so he has a meltdown but um they all got their diaper video, stock he was sorry and that's you know that's like my middle daughter, we used to tell her, you better quit crying wolf. Yep. Because when you get in trouble, nobody's going to believe your ass. That's right, Lauren. You know, she was always crying wolf. And Chandler's always saying he's sorry. Crying and wolf. It's part of the loosing of energy. It's part of the manipulation. It's part of the indoctrination. Let's just call it energetic and currency. So a lot of these people that you see on YouTube, believe it or Maybe not. Maybe even mining for Bitcoin in a really me. weird way. So, when I came on board to CCN after one interview, which was really two interviews, in December 2015 with Randy on Off Planet. Yeah. I mean, Tucker. Here I'm giving a tuck, donation tuck. to broadcast. Tom Ross. I got Mel V. Where are you Vinnie at, Tom? Boho, telling me what I can and cannot say. Vinny G. But also saying, but you know you can say whatever you want. And you know what kind of metal ping pong that is. And uh, being in journalism again. Danny Arnold, awesome no hooker, you rocking lunatic. They were trying lunatic. to indoctrinate me into that cult. And of course, during that CCN time, Channer was involved. Um, that's when the Zen Gardner story busted. Yeah, Randy. The intel was handed directly to and Randy. And Mel V. Randy handed it directly to Mel. That's right. And Mel said to Randy directly, <coughs> fuck you. Yeah. Because then Gardner was the big money draw. And 
Mellon Biggie's been in hiding all of 2018. And 2019, Should but they I? resurface under new yeah. names. So you get what I'm you get what I'm saying about all this. But, but it but it's all a I script. It's, time to go over it's all a game. A it's all a matrix along. program. It's all a computer generated like, game for your entertainment. He is just and nobody cares oh, if I get hurt. I was okay. the sacrifice, not these other butt plugs. So, All right. this is the video that's called The Truth About the Mexican Migrant Border. Is that Spanish still up, channel on? At hashtag T H O T audit. Or did you record over it? After this video was done, yes. You better believe I flagged it. For yes, I did. Content. Absolutely. And I'll tell you why. Because, as I've publicly stated, my middle daughter, Lauren, was forced into a gang during high school. Snapchat went around with her. And once you go black, they say you can't go back. And I'm not prejudiced. Black monkey. And, um, and my son's girlfriend is multicultural, and I lovingly call that Cookie Baby, and she activities. knows and thinks it's cute. <clears throat> I miss my daughter. I love her. Yes, I do. They got her working to be an escort by the time she was out of high school. All true. And this is no. And she won't take her at her name reasons. off my address. I've had the and feds come here with guns. I have asked her to no take jobs. her name off this house. Even somebody like me cannot. And then work. you guys want to make me out I to mean, be a criminal? Ridiculous. Oh no. What's this country come to? And then you want to talk about migrants and they're going to come in and expect to work. We're all refugees. Hey, fuck, man. I lived here all my days. And I can't work. Right. So what the fuck are you going to do? But let Alibaba have $3 million so to start a business. That is un-American. Realize now. Do, 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 do. He personally. Do, do. Personally has seen my daughter and how she makes money online. And I didn't know that one of those um, formats that I'm not involved in that's why Stacy's mom's got totally it going on. Voyeurism, pornography, uh, sexual acts, and of course, him. I mean, he'll pay. You know, he'll he'll spend three hundred bucks. No big deal. He talks about it. Oh my God. I mean, are you kidding? And that's nothing. So. Hey, his buddy Defango um, has a hit price list if you guys are interested. Because four thousand gives you a rape. Respecting women that are of age. You go up to two hundred and fifty thousand quarter of a million, they'll make a snuff film, do a satanic ritual and shit in the remains. That, that's the first problem of You think I'm kidding, I'm not. I mean, how can any of us This needs deal? to stop? this kind of thing is going to go on. And I'm going and to the finish straight. line. And you know that just Get out of my on. way. All right. Um, <clears throat> this is where uh, it gets kind of interesting, but over here he sings the song at the end. I mean, I just don't know where to begin with you guys. Right. I guess we could begin at the start. Maybe that's hey. sensible. Hey, and if you have a weak stomach... I don't think so. Though. Or are I mentally ill. Or if you're a chant or cult member, don't watch this. It might shatter your reality. So I've given you a warning. Bring all this in as education. Right, this is education on mental illness. As part of the life charting experience. And this is defending yourself. I'm defending myself against a real threat. Just like you guys don't realize we're already at war. I mean, any name. But you don't believe it. Somebody's not going to like it. Right. I'm a spiritual researcher. I'm recording and my life. He's the guy that wanted to sacrifice the little orange pumpkin with no face. And that's me. Mm-hmm. And oh, yeah. I'm the redheaded suffer 
jet. <laughs> but I'm insignificant, you see. Come to find they out, protested too much. Dead redemption, and these whack jobs. Now we're over at Unirock real quick, one of his butt buddies. Mm -hmm. You know, he's all pissed off because they can't kill her no more and feed her to the pigs. But I gave him truthful and, and information and he sucked it up like an the kids are all playing like a like thirsty and sailor going to the military to get a free and then told me I need a cocktail and I need to loosen up that's ate up okay we're gonna start he needs to quit vaping on it. here we go by the way that vaping is like 395 times worse than smoking cigarettes so look at the war over what a bad person I am because I choose to have a nicotine addiction. Hey, I like to put stuff in my mouth. It's actually an oral addiction. I don't know if you geniuses knew that. More than 30% of it is placebo. You know, that's when what you think becomes reality. So yes. I'm addicted to smoking. And no, I don't do hard drugs. And Mary Jane is sacred. But have another pain pill if you want to be like this. It's your choice. But I don't have to tolerate this behavior. So once again, this was November 28th. 2018. And I do once again want to thank sweet Aaron for getting my computer up again because, like I said, these hackers, and this is international, don't just blame Tubby here. This is just the, the kind of vehicles they need to do the work. But what I'm saying <laughs> is there is a network of global people that this is how they survive. Now, if they survive, everything you've ever known and loved dies. It's that simple. Do not blame the individual like they blamed me. That's the lesson that you want to take from this. So, I really do sincerely care about the world and the people and the animals. I care about my friends. And daggummit, I care about me. So, good luck to us. Peace out.